A watchdog investigation into the lack of transparency along the U.S.-Mexico border. According to the investigation, since 2005, Border Patrol and Customs and Border Protection officers have taken the lives of 42 people, including 12 Americans. The Arizona Republic found there were little or no apparent repercussions for agents who shot to kill, even though they may have had other less lethal options. Joe Dana has more on the report. The Arizona Republic filed more than 120 public records requests, talked with families and witnesses of victims, and reached out to Border Patrol for several interviews that were denied. Tonight we are telling one of the stories, a mother in search of answers or evidence that shows her 16-year-old was a viable threat. Araceli Rodriguez lost her son Jose more than a year ago. So I feel frustrated. I'm angry because I don't have any answers. It was an October night when the 16 year old with no criminal history and whose family says aspired to join the military was walking to the nearby convenience store in Mexico where his brother worked. At the time, Border Patrol was responding to a 911 call that men were carrying marijuana bundles over the fence. Jose never made it to the convenience shop. An agent or agents fired 14 hollow point bullets between the gaps of the fence. 10 bullets hit the teenager in the back and head. They haven't given me an answer to what I want to know. Jose's death has sparked protests at the border and calls for more accountability. Bob Ortega has been trying to obtain records for over a year involving Jose's death and similar cases. As far as the internal investigations within uh, Customs and Border Protection, they don't release any information whatsoever to the public. It's impossible to find out whether an agent's been disciplined. It's impossible to find out uh, what's happened in any specific case. Meanwhile, at the location of the shooting where Jose's image is now memorialized, a surveillance camera is mounted along the fence. The camera is so close to there. There must be a video. I want to see the video where he is hurting a person from there and that they shot him because of that. She also wants to know if agents had other options. In several other rock throwing cases, border agents used pepper ball launchers to control the situation. Araceli is left to believe they could have shot in the air or they could have scared him instead of killing him. Now, it's important to note that agents rarely turn to deadly force. Out of 1,600 use of force incidents reviewed by the Republic, agents resorted to gunfire about 4% of the time and killed people less than 1% of the time between 2010 and 2012. But in 160 other cases, agents resolved cross-border rock throwing by using less lethal weapons like balls filled with pepper spray. We have reached out to Border Patrol for an interview and have been declined. Araceli has hired an attorney and filed a notice of claim against Customs and Border Protection. And you can read the last in our series about this issue in tomorrow's Arizona Republic. Joe Dana, 12 News.